Video of a school police officer body slamming a female high school student has triggered outrage in a North Carolina community. Cell phone video shows shows Rollsville police officer Ruben De Los Santos yesterday picking up the 15-year-old and throwing her to the ground. He was responding to a fight between two other female students at the town's high school near Raleigh. Vladimir Dutier of our streaming network CBSN shows us the fallout. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. Officer Ruben De Los Santos has been placed on administrative leave. The mother of the young girl who was body slammed told our local CBS affiliate that her daughter suffered a concussion. The school's principal sent a letter to parents saying she was deeply concerned by what she saw. It's unclear what prompted Officer De Los Santos to slam this teenage girl to the ground. He was responding to this fight between two other girls caught on a second video. Moments later, the teen is taken down by the officer. A school official says she was not involved in the initial fight, and a witness claims the girl was actually trying to break up the brawl, which involved her sister. Parents learning about the incident expressed concern. Being a parent of two kids, I have a senior and a freshman here, a boy and a, and a girl. Um, I don't think an adult ever really should body slam a child, especially a female. I'd like to know what happened prior to escalating, getting to that point. So if there's more to the video, I'd like to see it. I think as parents, we have a right to see it and know what's going on. In a short statement to the local board of commissioners, Roseville Police Chief Bobby Langston pleaded with the community to remain patient while the matter is investigated. We will work diligently to review any and all pertinent information so that we can provide an accurate account of the event. A city official says this is Ruben De Los Santos, who's been a school resource officer at Rollsville for three and a half years. On its Facebook page, the North Carolina chapter of the American Civil Liberties Union posted a statement saying in part, this disturbing use of force should never be used against children in schools. We are working to learn more about the situation. The Roseville Police Department has officially requested the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation conduct a third-party review of the incident. The officer was reportedly wearing a body camera, but it is unclear if that video will be released, Gail. Yeah, that video is tough to watch. Thank you very much, Vlad.